You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey, everyone. Are you going to get hungry today? Chances are you're going to. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> and if you do and you want to curb that hunger with something that tastes really good and is really good for you, you got to check out Charky. Just go to their website, charky.website, or search for Charky, C-H-A-R-K-I, on Amazon, where you can try their three unique flavors. There's red chili, Rob. Dig it. It's like, you know, these two classics, the New Mexican red chili and the Peruvian jerky had a baby, and it was this, and it's amazing. And it, yeah, it has a halo. The little baby has a halo. It really does. It's that good. So you said, just I just want to make sure you said charky dot website. Dot website. So a lot of people are are struggling with that. It's http colon slash slash, just like any other website, right? And then charky c h a r k i dot website. So instead of writing dot com, you write dot website. Very cool. So charky.website. Try it out, guys. I have a feeling you will love it because Rob loves it. In fact, I think this is your favorite flavor, right? Oh, it's hard, but I think so. I'd have to go with sweet and spicy. Sweet and spicy. That's yeah. my favorite flavor. It's, it's red so chili, good. Red chili's a, a second for me. I agree. So it's, it's got a nice kick. Not too much, but plenty. Enough for uh, New Mexico. New Mexican. Wow, I can't talk today. Wow. Yeah, which might mean a little bit much for other people, but I don't know. I think anybody that likes spicy, I mean, if you like, I don't even spicy Thai, whatever, it's going to be a real nice, just just about right kick for you. Definitely. Just check it out. you got to check it out. Please leave it a review. And if you want to try it, just give us a ring. Leave us a contact us message on the website, and we will get back to you. Check it out, charky.website. But anyway, guys, welcome to another awesome episode of Ask a Drone You. My name is Paul. And my name is Rob, and this is episode number 526. I had to look, I admit it. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. We hope that you're having a fantastic week. Hope that you're getting a lot of practice time in. You know the best time to practice? Uh, Live streaming. That was a that was a good answer too. <laughs> 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 live streaming. So Yeah, because if you try to be smooth the entire time on a live stream, you're in front of a bunch of people, it's great pressure. I love it. Yeah. That, actually, I saw one of our members. I just happened to see it pop up that was live streaming the other night. And I, it was nighttime, though. I didn't check to see if he had a waiver. Yeah, I'm sure he I'm does. not the police right now, so I just I didn't even care. Whether I should or not, I don't know. Uh, but anyways. I'm, I, on that whole issue, I'm so to a point where I don't even care anymore. I'm just like, you know what? If you're legal, you're legal. If you're not, you're not. You should get legal. That's how I feel about it. You know, there are plenty of police on Facebook, and I yeah. am very happy that they're there. I'm very happy that they tell people off. But now people are posting just to get a rise out of those people. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm serious. For the sport of it. Yeah. Like right. they're posting it pictures from a thousand feet up. Yeah. And then someone going like, you can't do that. And then they just keep posting them. And it's like, you are the person that's ruining it for us. Yeah. You. No. And one day I'm going to have a drone police car and I'm going to go to these people's houses and show up and do a web series called Drone Police and be like, did you know you're ruining the industry for us? Well, I hope that if you're in a drone police car, you actually are flying the drone like an car. e-hang like that like the dubai yeah autonomous taxi exactly i mean if you're gonna have a drone police car it's got to fly it can't you know, be on the ground it, that's true it's actually really interesting rob because last week paris debuted the very first autonomous vehicle to drive right as in commercial commercial autonomous vehicle wow. and it's a it's a car okay? okay next week which was this week dubai says all right, Yihang, you can be our drone taxis. So before you know it, we're going to see Uber drone. <laughs> and yeah, we are. But I also remember reading that article or some an article on that issue and a couple of the engineers or a couple of engineer type people said, I'm not getting in that thing. Oh, and I agree with them 100%. <laughs> There's no way to take over manual control whatsoever. Yeah. You lose one prop and people are like, oh, you lose one prop, you'll be fine. Oh, it's going to be a roller coaster ride to the ground. <laughs> Yeah. I'm serious. Yeah. You've seen a coaxial fall to the ground before. They'll recover and they'll be fixable. <laughs> it ain't going to be fun. Yeah. There was no little test mice on that thing either. 
<laughs> I'm not going to be a test mouse on one of these things. <laughs> Let's give it about 50,000 hours. If we put two mice on a 3DR X8, PETA would be calling us and then 3DR for saying what a good job we did putting together their stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyways, maybe a hamster. We'll talk about that later. Uh, Speaking of all this legal mumble jumbo. I love mumbo legal. Jumbo, I love talking about legal stuff, Rob. You know, just when you think somebody has asked. It's not like I left my family of 750 lawyers and moved 2,000 miles away to get away from all that. But anyway, let's keep talking. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, that was different. Maybe. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Just when Those you think. Those lawyers. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I actually missed a meeting with a lawyer to to podcast. <laughs> See how important this podcast is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, um, just when I just when you thought every question had been asked about this issue about being licensed and not and what you can and can't do, I think that the that uh, Joe, the question we're about to listen to, does a nice job of maybe just putting a little more detail into it, which we've asked people to do when they send in their questions, and I think Joe did a good job of that. So if you're ready, I say we jump in. Why don't you play that funky music, Rob? <laughs> hey, Drone You. Uh, I am still a baby pilot. I've been practicing for a few months with a cheap micro and uh, for the past month with a Phantom 3 standard. And I want a few more months practice before I go for something like a Phantom 4 Pro and get my 107. The thing is, I already work in the film industry and I am already being asked by peers to shoot things for them. Uh, I've made it clear to everybody that I can't do anything paid until I get my 107. But my question for you is around some non-paid projects. So two examples. One, I have a friend who's a director and a great DP, and he's been talking about doing just a couple of quick and dirty projects around town uh, that we could add to our reels. So even though we wouldn't be charging money for these projects, they would be going towards a project that we would use to hopefully get us money in the future. Uh, the second example, there's a nonprofit theater group in town who's approached me to put together promotional materials for them, and they're excited about the drone. Uh, I've appeared in a couple of their plays, and I'd love to donate my time to help them. They're a great group. Uh, so if I did this project, even though I'm technically shooting something commercial, like I'm shooting a promotional video to get people into the theater to see these things, if I'm just volunteering my time and effort, am I in violation of any laws? Do these kinds of projects, are they just considered a hobbyist project? Uh, I'm curious to see what you say. Thank you very much. Well, before we get started, I just want to give a quick shout out to Kyle and Shannon, who stopped by Drone You yesterday on their cross-country hey trip just it, to come see us. It was really cool to meet you guys. It was really cool. They weren't the first to stop here at Drone You, but I've, I learned a valuable lesson with their with their visit. And you know what? Taking a few minutes out of your day to make someone else happy can go a long way. Absolutely. No, it was a joy. I mean, goodness gracious. I, humbling. We gave them some free swag. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're wondering, that's what the, happened. For the folks out there that are still <laughs> waiting on swag, that's the if secret. If you come to the office, come to the they office. can see you real fast. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's just hard to hire someone. But now, got a new personal assistant. You know what? If they uh, come crying back with uh, bite marks and bruises, I have no idea what happened. <laughs> and her name is not Rob. <laughs> in case you're wondering. Her name is Robbie. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, um, let's get right into this. Okay, he's got a friend, DP, director of photography. That's normally someone who works in a production company, owns their own production company, or works as the director of photography on set. So think of them as the cinematographer, essentially. Um, he's got a great question here. I want to do quick and dirty shots. And knowing producers, I know about, oh, I don't know, a couple dozen producers. Mm -hmm. Knowing producers, are producers going to go out and get these quick and dirty shots without a license? Probably. They're already doing it. Yeah. But does that mean it's legal? Probably not. Could they be fined? Probably. Probably and plausibly. Most likely. I don't like it when we look down, so that's why I'm looking <laughs> no, down right now. <laughs> So if so, you need to get shorter to talk like this, then in in hey, this particular, you could do your squats right here. Did you get your eighty in? No, nope, because my ankle's messed up. Still, so oh, I can't even do twenty. <laughs> All right, <laughs> but okay. So quick and dirty. Here's the way the FA looks at it. If you are furthering your business for whatever reason, that is a commercial activity and requires a Part One Hundred Seven license. Now, here's where. 
I feel like you could find a loophole in that. If you are studying for your 107 and you're going out and you're practicing and you're gathering footage while you're practicing, before you ever have a business, I would argue that it's pretty hard to further a business that doesn't exist yet. That's fair. I like that. Well, I had to think about this because I'm like, I don't want to give these, I don't want to lie to these guys. Like uh, before the 107, I went out and got footage all day long. Well, and then my business started August 29th, 2016. Yeah, <laughs> right. And yeah. And when I mean August, I mean 2012. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm struggling with the words here because I think we have to be reasonable about this. And I just get the sense from Joe and, and his crew there that they're going to do things the right way. I mean, he said he's told people he can't earn any money until he gets his 107. That doesn't mean you can't fly. And it doesn't mean that when you fly, you can't record what you're capturing while you're flying. And most likely, some of that footage or some of those images are going to be part of your reel. That's just kind of the way it works, which is what he was alluding to in the first part of that question is, can we use that footage for a reel? I would say if the business doesn't exist yet, my argument would be yes. If they post it on a business page on Facebook, they're using it to further their business. See, the other thing, too, is Mm -hmm. and what a lot of older guys would tell you is... A lot of things don't exist unless they're on the internet. <laughs> so, or they're in a contract, but yes. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out there and let you guys dwell on that one. Um, if they were to post it on social media, if they were to use it to market themselves online, it would be furthering their business. And I'm, I guarantee some angry operator would go after these guys. And I think that's a pretty clear distinction. And I think that's one that Joe and again, his crew, sorry, I don't know everybody's name, but I think it's something that they can work with. Definitely. I and, really do. And by the way, just a quick interruption. Brian Fassett mm-hmm. just passed his test. Did he really have yes. a baby, Brian? Yeah, buddy. And we still... Rolling like a big shot. Uh, and I think Paul still has your shirt. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> I still have it. Speaking of swag, <laughs> okay, that so actually was in San Diego. <laughs> it was. It was, actually. That's totally my fault. Uh, but And speaking of which, Netflix wants to do another episode down there, so uh, we'll probably be seeing Brian pretty nice. soon. Nice. Yes. So. There's some other people that we need to see when we're down there. So there, I, We have a lot of cool members down there. Kevin Panzania. Mm-hmm. Pan, Panaza. Adam. Adam, Adam Huntington's Huntin- down there. Courage. Courage. Courage Jazz Beats. The yeah, man. and there's a couple others that are relatively new. That, Courage is uh, actually a really cool guy. I, there's a lot of cool guys down there that are members. It's uh, you know a what, trip guys? that we need to make. If you're not figuring out right now, the community inside of DroneU, once you become a member, is just unlike any other. All right, let's get to the second part of his question. Nonprofit feeder group. Volunteering. I don't see how this would be furthering his business if he shot this stuff for the theater as long as they didn't credit his business. Meaning if oh, they were yeah. to credit okay. him... Like, hey, Rob Burdick, thanks for that footage out there, man. That's cool. You know, like, right. I, I don't see that as further. <laughs> if they were going to do that, I'd say, please don't. But What if I were to do that? Then it's all good. So it's not about furthering that entity's operation slash business. It's about furthering your business. That's a the distinction pilot. that I hear you making. Uh, yes. And I make that distinction because Keller Williams is making that distinction, too. In fact, hmm. Keller well, Williams. Keller Williams said it. Well, no, Keller Williams just came out and said pretty much, we don't give a crap if you hire a licensed pilot or not. You're kidding. No, this was yesterday. Wow. Because the onus is on the pilot, which is not true. But I mean, it's true 99 or 95% of the point. But a lot of people are still missing the fact that if the pilot goes down, you're still getting investigated. You're still being subpoenaed. And the federal government could absolutely shut your business down for as long as they want to find the information that they need. Yeah, so there but, are, but you, you know, can see their point. Because oh, that yeah. risk is like the risk of being audited by the IRS. It's pretty darn small. Right? Less than... I feel like you should never say that on any internet thing. I know you're totally prepared to be audited at any time, but even my dad is like, be careful. Be careful what you say on the phone. Well, I'm not, I'm not asking for it, but... No, I wouldn't ask that we on do, anyone. We do things the right way. Anyways. Which is what's important. And that's why we're telling you to do things the right way, because in the long run, here, guys, you're only going to be helping yourself out. In the long run... Your life is all going to be about how can I mitigate liability? How can I mitigate risk, increase my revenue, increase my nest egg without threatening that? So the things that you do now could affect you for years and years and years down the line. Okay? Maybe they couldn't. But chances are they will. I think we answered his question. I think so. To sort of bottom line it, what you're saying is that as long as he's not getting any credit, 
His business isn't being furthered in any way, which essentially means nobody would even know who flew it. In these particular cases... I don't see why they couldn't use his name, just not a business name. Well, okay. But to be be even more careful, don't even do that until you have the 107. To be 100% honest... I think there's so much gray area right now. I don't know why you'd risk it. See, you're... But you have the why would I risk it, and I have the... Everyone else is doing it. I don't want to be followed up mentality. Or not followed up. I don't want to be one-upped. Does that make sense? Yeah. And the thing is, is that like, for example, the demo reel question, there's mm-hmm. nothing stopping him from going out and getting that footage as long as he had no intention on selling the footage at the beginning, which it's pretty clear that he doesn't have that intention. And if he were to get that footage and then get his license, open his business, and then use that footage to right. sell himself, I see no problem with that. Yeah, I don't disagree with that at all. So now some old, some old geriatric <laughs> FAA agents may have another idea. How do you define geriatric? It's actually not an age thing. That's the funny thing. Hmm. Geriatric means crotchety to me. Like I'm un, I'm unwilling to listen to other people. Your opinions don't matter to me. I'm old and I know more than you. Okay. That means geriatric. And for those type of people, I'm nice to all old people. I really, I'm nice to pretty much just about everybody. I'm not going to pull a Donald Trump and be like, I'm the nicest guy ever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Do uh, the lips. Yeah. And then point your head out. I'm the nicest guy there is. That's actually George Bush. How does he do it? Is it- Look, it's huge. Is there anybody anywhere, perhaps in the world, that gets in front of a camera that doesn't do Trump now? I think everyone Every. takes a little bit of pleasure in it. <laughs> I'm sick, because, sick because it is an amateur hour right now. Whether yeah. whether you're a Republican or not, the problem it, is it, the people watching are getting no pleasure from it. Oh man, with the I, exception of a couple. Okay, I gotta say something. I saw something on the news last night, and for the first time ever, I just turned the news off. Oh. All right. And is it is it like a political statement? No, if you it's tell not us a what poli- it's about? No, it's okay. So I guess Trump said that he had like the most uh, electoral votes or something, and he said he got three hundred and six. Mm-hmm. And uh, both NBC and CBS were both like, "Oh, he's lying about his electoral votes." Blah blah blah. And they put it on the TV, and it's like three oh four. So it's <laughs> off by two. And I'm like, "Really, guys? Way to go, guys! Really, guys? Hold That's accountable. news." You know, all right. And that's why I turned it off. And I'm like, I hope this shows on my Nielsen report. Seriously. (laughs) But anyway, we'd like to keep it lighthearted here at Drone You. But we also like to lightheartedly answer your questions. So make sure you go to askdroneyou.com and upload your question. And if it was done in a Trump voice, you'll be Mm. getting some swag from me, not from Rob. That means it's actually going to come in a week or two. (laughs) Yeah, right. <laughs> if you buy that, I've got some land for you. I need some beachfront property out here in New Mexico. <laughs> yeah, beachfront is everywhere here. Because <laughs> you're in front on of the beach. What? <laughs> Not in it, front of water. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for us today. Thanks for enjoying a few minutes of your day with us. Thank you for those reviews. Please check out our book, DroneUbook.com. And guys, thank you so much. We are on par to hit a million listens this year. And thanks to you, we already had 100,000 listens in January. So you sharing this podcast, you reviewing this podcast, guess what? It's working, guys. And we're helping ensure our freedoms to fly. So please help me in staying tenacious with that fight. Continue to review and continue to share this show. Thanks again, guys. That's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. This is Ask Drone You.